holy shit balls. It just went from 15, 18 to what, 33. I had the full mane and the full head sail out and I had to go downwind, put the autopilot onto performance level five, wind in the head sail and, and then steer like directly downwind to take the pressure off the mainsail. I think we were doing 14 knots there for a while, which is not too bad. I probably could have left some of the head sail out, but I was like, you know, if it had gone up any more, I'd just water, wind, water coming in everywhere, dripping down here, I got my phone wet, like, Jesus. So I've just had a, just gotten dry. Let's see what that was. 38, 38. From 15 minutes before that, it was like 17. So from 18 to 38 is 28, 38. That's 20 knots, an increase of 20 knots. I've never, I haven't seen that before. This storm out here looks powerful as well, this squall. You can see how it's got like lift, it's got that sharp front on it. That should be coming behind us anyway, so. And the way I'm set up, and I can go downwind, 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 so I mean, that, that thing there doesn't worry me too much. Apart from it's just evil looking. Just wonderful. I really hope that looks as good on film as it does in real life. It is a maelstrom out there. The ocean doesn't just doesn't know what it is. Everything keeps falling off the shelves. Like books fall down. My little globe that's the world falls down. This thing here smashes out. I don't know. I just thank Christ I'm in this boat. So it's only 30 knots. I've been in 30 knots a lot of different times. This is vastly different. You can feel the boat going like this. There's some waves coming here, some waves coming here, some waves are coming from there. And in this spot in the Gulf Stream, it's just like, I was steering for ages. And one broke like just in front of me. I was like, oh my by far the worst conditions I've ever had. But well, I've just got four more hours until I'm out of the Gulf Stream and it should be a little bit less, sort of like this. I was trying to, trying to sleep before the book fell on my head, which was kind of funny. Hello, it's Riley from the future. I guess, spoiler alert, I definitely do make it to Charleston. We're teaming up with Skillshare for this episode, which is our favorite online learning platform. It's got 25,000 classes in design and business and a bunch of other stuff, and an annual subscription of less than $10 per month. There we go.
go. Premium membership gives you unlimited access, so whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even try and get a career, join more than 7 million other people out there, creators that are doing stuff on Skillshare. If you've seen the quality of our videos increase, um, that'll be due in no small part to the photography classes we've been taking on Skillshare. So that's why we're very happy to recommend it. Being the travellers that we are, it's just it just makes perfect sense for us. The first 500 of you to click on the link in the description will get a two month free trial. Give that video a like if you liked it. If you're new here, subscribe and thanks for following our adventure.